Well, it's a special Cheap Lunch Friday today. We're out in Bushnell's Basin at Three Beagles Cafe. And what is special about that? What is special about that is that this is Karen Cross Smith's place. Karen, who does the 20-minute drills on rochestercoodnet.com and also does the Family Feed blog. She opened up her own place. She's got a full-time job on the side, and she does this on the side, and she's crazy. She's a great cook. I can't wait to check it out. They've got paninis, soups, salads, coffee. Let's go. the Geneva, which I've already eaten half of it, but um, it's got like roasted vegetables and hummus and stuff in it, and it's really, really good. This is the undercut salad, and all kinds of greens and egg, cucumber, carrots. I opted out on the pumpkin seeds, uh, Thousand Island dressing. This could easily feed a couple, two or three of me, I think. So this here is the Rome which is roasted red peppers, uh, tomatoes, what they say is locally crafted mozzarella, which sounds awesome, and uh, a pesto. You can see the green little streak there, pesto on it. Boy, that sounds amazing. I have to try that. That's cool. These are good chips. They're kettle chips. They're substantial. They're not the cheapo things that you sometimes get in your sandwiches. Karen serves a couple of soups every day that she makes from scratch. One of the soups today is a mushroom bisque, and you can get it hot or cold. Uh, but this is delicious. It has really deep mushroom flavor. Something I should stress here is Karen's a vegetarian, so she's extremely sensitive to people's dietetic needs. So anything that's a vegetable dish here is going to be truly vegetarian. If she says it's vegan, it's going to be vegan. If she says it's gluten-free, it's going to be gluten-free. Um, this is uh, uh, chicken sausage. Boy, it's spicy. You see the hot peppers, the jalapenos. This looks like okra. The chicken sausage, as well as uh, red peppers and rice. And uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so I have a um, iced Java chip, and it's a pretty good size. It's like four dollars, I think. It was, it was good. It's refreshing. These are my official Jim Barber approved happy classes. <laughs> you do look happy. I know. And uh, I'm eating in Saratoga because the last time I had the Warsaw without meat and with a lovely sandwich, um, which is kind of like a Reuben but with cheddar cheese. This is uh, caramelized onions and some really nice uh, wholesome chicken and uh, more of that cheddar cheese goodness. I've had, already had a bite. Great flavor. Great sandwich. This is the Geneva, I think. It's roasted vegetables and hummus with a lemon vinaigrette, and it is fantastic. Okay, this is the gluten-free Chautauqua. Chicken sandwich with peppers and various other things. It's pesto. Real. It's pesto. It is very delicious. And it is on uh, gluten-free focaccia. So normally I'm interviewing people I, I don't really know, but I kind of know Karen here. Hi, Karen. Hi, Adam. <laughs> so, you kind of always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do this. And here you are doing this. Yeah. So, t tell us about the concept of Three Beagles. Concept of Three Beagles is... You serve dog. <laughs> no. No? It actually oh. has li little to do with dog. Um, we, we're serving just a fast, casual menu. We're doing soups, salads, and sandwiches in a great baker case. What we wanted to do was provide things for a family that has uh, multiple dietary needs. So if you've got someone in your family who's uh, gluten-restricted, someone in your family who's vegan, someone who's vegetarian, and someone who's a ravenous meat eater, which you, do. you can all come eat here. Yes, and which, which I, I do. do and you do. Right. So I wanted to have a menu that addressed that. Um, it's a, it's a family-friendly menu. We have kids' items, um, a little something for everybody. We have a extensive menu of coffee drinks and a minimum of 60 whole bean varieties at any time so you can take beans home with you. Six zero? Six zero. That's, 60. that's a lot. Check it out. That's two months of it's a different a coffee every beans. day. It's a lot of beans. Yes. Yes it is. <clears throat> My goodness. So what's with the um regionally named sandwiches and salads? Um, part of my focus was to stay as local as possible, which I, I know get it. Rochester Food Net does get. 
Um, so I wanted to really focus on local everything, um, everything that I could possibly source from New York State, I am. And I've named everything on the menu after places around New York State, uh, many of which don't get a lot of recognition. So we have a Staten Island on the menu. We have an Ithaca. Um, an Endicott. An Endicott. We really focused on local. Um, we're going to have a beer and wine license shortly, and we're going to be doing Canandaigua and uh, Finger Lakes Wine Trail wines Sweet. on the menu. And we're going to try to stick with local microbreweries. Um, you had talked a bit about having some music in here? Yes, yes. As soon as the <laughs> beer and wine license comes through soon, um, we're going to be extending the hours late into the evening, and we're going to be having entertainment every evening. Groovy. And mm -hmm. uh, you're just not sleeping. I don't sleep very much at all, no. Right, right. It's okay. Yeah, sleep I'm doing when what you I get like. it, right? Yeah. So Are we ever going to see you on Rochester Food Net again? Are you going to do any A 20 videos minute for drill? Us? Yeah. Did let me know when. We all can right. film them here at Three Beagles Cafe. That would be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Thanks, Karen. All right. Thank you. This is Karen Cross Smith, and you've been watching us at the Three Beagles Cafe here in beautiful Bushnells Basin on the canal here on RochesterFoodNet.com. So cool dining with a rock and roll.